Our day is so busy today that I'm not even gonna turn the Christmas lights on until we're back home for the day. But can I just show you <laughs> what we've got going on today? Do you see that laundry? It's crazy. When we had our, our water pipe burst last week, I obviously got way behind on laundry. And so uh, my goal is to have a laundry folding party tonight, which means I'm giving the kids hot chocolate, turning on a movie, and then I'm just gonna stand in here and fold laundry. Two birds with one stone. I'm spending time with my kids because I'm standing in the same room as them, and I'm getting laundry done. So I'm sure they'll have a great time and not even realize that I'm not watching the movie. So anyway, it is, let me see the time here. It's 10.30. And we are just getting started on school. We have to be out of here by 1.30 to run some errands. But I'm going to flip this around. I'm sure I look darling right now with my hair. Um, it is our last day of school. So um, I was going to stop sometime mid next week, give a few days before Christmas, and then um, just take the week of Christmas off. But we have been going for like nine or ten weeks straight. I cut out our Thanksgiving break, and I cut out our week off in the sixth week, you know, because of the construction we had going on and the hurricane time we took off. I really wanted to make up for extra time. I was going to push through and cut out our one week of our Christmas break too, but it's just not necessary. My kids are little and I'm tired and they're tired. And even though we're only really doing school for like an hour and a half a day right now with my husband's schedule, just the weight of that responsibility right now is kind of making me a little bit of not a fun mom. So it's time to let it go. We're going to work through today. Tomorrow I'm taking them to Legoland. Friday they've got a craft day at my friend's house. Monday my parents are taking them to SeaWorld. Tuesday we're nursing, caroling at the nursing home. Wednesday's my daughter's dance recital. So we weren't really going to be doing that much school anyway. So I'm just going to call it, call it a semester here. Um, so we're just going to work through a little bit of our morning basket and a little bit of their math and reading and then we will be wrapped up for Christmas. I will still read to them though um, throughout all of Christmas break. So anyway, and then on Wednesdays, my mom takes my kids for dinner during John's Christmas season. So she'll have them for dinner. I'm gonna be making a freezer meal while they're gone. Um, well, you'll see. We've got a lot of errands to run today. So welcome, welcome to my day.
<laughs> Annie girl. Two. Two. <laughs> she loves it. She was scared at first. Oh, she sees my pants. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna go warm. <laughs> Three. Two. Give <laughs> me a kiss. Mm. Oh, oh, so nice, okay. Annie. So nice. Three, two. <laughs> now, if you can see me well, because my forward-facing camera is not working on my phone, but uh, it's 4:45 now, and I am waiting to pick Kid A up. I picked. I've dropped. Basic, okay, so basically here's how my day has gone. Um, we dropped Eli off, went to lunch with my aunt, a late lunch, like a two o'clock lunch, and then um, dropped some stuff off at a church, picked a stroller up from my friend's house, ran to Target, dropped one kid off, nursed the baby in that parking lot, dropped another kid off. I'm going back to pick up the first kid, coming back to pick up the second kid, then I'm dropping them off at my mom's for dinner. So. That is what I've been up to for the last four hours. I'm making black bean enchiladas. I'm making a pan and freezing a pan while my kids are gone. Um, getting way ahead in my schedule here. So I am starting to go back to cooking some more vegan meals because I was just on the phone with my sister. Between, I've obviously for nine years at least have been nursing or having babies. Um, except for like the few months in between when I would stop nursing one and before I got pregnant with another. And um, Eli nursed for super, super long, like almost, I guess like two and a half years. And um, toward the end, like when he was about two, I switched to be vegetarian. And I never felt better in my life. And then I slowly transitioned for the last few months there into, um, doing mostly vegan recipes and then uh, did like a raw till four thing and I truly for myself have never felt better but I did on occasion I would eat fresh fish or um, once or twice a week maybe if it was locally sourced would have some eggs or uh, local raw dairy or um, some meat but it would be like um, a small portion and it was not pumped with hormones and farmed and all that so I um, was just thinking then when I got pregnant with Annabeth I switched suddenly like greens made me so repulsed like horribly repulsed and I just wanted like the meat and the dairy but then the strange thing is that's when my iron got very low and it was I'm sure it's because I couldn't handle the greens anymore like I just I don't know what happened but it was so sad like my heart was sad but my body couldn't do it um so I started having all sorts of like issues with my pregnancy with food and then um now that I'm nursing her she's nine months old but I obviously fell back into old habits so I was like carby dairy meat all sorts of like processy kind of foods um which uh, it's not really that bad but it was definitely more than i was doing before and i'm starting to feel like emotionally up and down again i'm feeling tired a lot again and i'm definitely ready to slowly transition back toward those vegan recipes and just how awesome i felt then not to say like i'm not going to be vegan again but the more and more and more recipes that I was incorporating into my diet, my family's diet, that didn't have animal products in it, the better we all felt. John felt amazing. I felt amazing. He's a very willing participant. He was the reason why initially I even stopped cooking with meat. Um, he feels so much better without it. So anyway, that's all that to say. I'm making black bean enchiladas for dinner and I'm just excited to kind of like pull out some of my old recipes and get back to the, um, mostly vegetarian type of lifestyle so it'll definitely like kick in full force after Christmas because um, we have a lot of get-togethers and roasts and meals and you know things planned so anyway uh, so yeah black bean enchiladas for dinner and then I'm making a bunch of fudge and chocolate chip cookies to send in for the guys who work the overnight shift at UPS and then obviously for the drivers as well so that's what I've got on the agenda while my kids are gone
Okay, the baby started screaming and so I ran out of my chance to roll like 30 individual enchiladas. So what I did, and I forgot that I was making one pan vegan so I sprinkled cheese on top, was I just mixed up a bunch of the black beans that I soaked last night. Um, so black beans, a bunch of corn, um, some organic salsa, and then some um, onion and cumin and mix that all together and then I just took some um, organic corn tortillas and I put them down <coughs> spread a layer of the bean and corn mixture and then I took tomato sauce and I seasoned it with onion powder cumin chili powder and some Himalayan salt and I mix that into like an enchilada sauce type of thing <laughs> um, and then spread that over the top and then repeated the layers like a lasagna and then I put some cheese on top of both. Now it's going to go in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. Um, that's my rough, um, my rough recipe there. I'll type it out below if you guys want the recipe. But I, en I ended up like making, holy cow, it's bedtime for her, like an enchilada um, casserole there. So. All right, it's 8 o'clock, and I'm having dinner, and John's home, so he's having dinner, too. <laughs> and we don't have the kids, so we're going to watch a movie and fold laundry. Mm -hmm. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. All right, it is 11, and the cookies are halfway done. We've got about eight dozen that are going to be um, going into work tomorrow, so that's where I'm going to end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the little bits and pieces that I remember to record today and I will see you tomorrow.